I don't understand why they give you uh, two full heal thingies. Yeah, it seems a little redundant, especially with this high level of a character. I don't even think I was taking that much damage in that fight. You really weren't. I think I'm, I can imagine uh, Vermilia was a lot lower level than you are. I imagine she was also probably level 60, if that's what the enemy is on the very next floor were. Yeah. Wee. <laughs> I just realized there's like no point in killing enemies here because you're already at max level. I'll just do it for fun. Yeah. This sword's okay. Okay. I can now shoot as many projectiles as the enemies can. Yeah, I especially do. considering Actually, look can how you fast they're just recovering. Yeah, I know, right? Fucking hey, dude. <laughs> the only reason the only reason it's not infinite because it restores automatically is because of how fast I'm pressing it. If I pressed it just slightly slower, it would autofill. Like, look at this. Yeah. Or close to it, anyway. Relatively close, yeah. That's why you kill enemies. Yeah. Excuse you? That's the only reason for these doors' existence, so you can't just immediately walk through them? Yeah? Uh. <laughs> Gold Knight. <laughs> AKA Gilgo -Go Mesh's armor's on the loose. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Ow. It's not a very happy armor. No. No. Wee! Then again, I guess it's covered Go Go Mesh's glorious physique, so take that for what you will. Just walk right over both. Hey, healing. <laughs> We're back here again. This must be. This is the room we found you in. Huh. Different timeline. Interesting. Oh, so you came down here. Okay, and then we found her down here. Yep. But you lose down here? Huh. She's the one that's kind of doing all the rituals and building the robot. I don't know how why a magician is building a technical thingy, but whatever. Hmm. Would you call her a magician or a witch? Uh, more of a witch, but the cutest goddamn whichever. <laughs> Sorceress. Sure. Yeah, let's go with that. <laughs> that always bothered me in Final Fantasy VIII when they called, uh, when they called Ultimecia a sorceress instead of a witch. Just yeah. call her a witch. Yeah. That's like the most low fucking browser censorship they could come up with if they're trying to censor that, which that's like the dumbest thing ever. I think they were just trying to trying to do something different. Probably. It's probably called it's <laughs> probably called a witch in other translations. Or certain versions of the game, I don't know. It Ooh. There's a lot of projectiles, dude. Yeah. Actually it's actually probably the hardest boss in the game. Really? Oh. If, you're, if you're not if you're not up to snuff, then yeah. Yeah. She's one of those characters you will absolutely have to grind for your first time through. Because your first time through, uh, she's going to be level 80-ish. Goddamn, damn, okay. Le level 80 or 75. The first time you see her, unless you're specifically uh, making sure to run through every floor like three times, <laughs> if you run through it just the once and get to her, you're only going to be level 65, 70. She's going to be level 80. Yeah, I'll say, damn. <laughs> Okay, that's still kind of funny. <laughs> 11,700. Yeah. She can shoot tornadoes. That's cute. You know what? No, fuck! She pushed me off screen so she wouldn't get hit by it. <laughs> Clever bitch. <laughs> that wind is actually kind of competent. That's better. And rocks got thrown at you. <laughs> isn't, it, isn't it refreshing to see an, an enemy that doesn't have a vacuum? I know, right? It says... <laughs> um, what are the reverse of a vacuum is? A blower. Blow dryer? Leaf blower. <laughs> Laundry brawler. <laughs> Witch blower! <laughs> so are you gonna kill me? I'm afraid not, you're just gonna stay here. You can't live on your own. Uh, no one but me knows how to get you out. 
<laughs> You're at my mercy, bitch. <laughs> So I'm, is Flandre usually like locked up or something, or is she just yeah? Basically... Wow. Okay. Some interpretations have her just uh, stuck in her bedroom, not allowed to come out. Other interpretations have her literally in chains. Yeah. So make of that what you will. Yeah. Either way, keep her contained because she's fucking insane. Gotcha. Yeah. She's going back to sleep now. Yep. <laughs> that could be a great move when I wake up. So basically, this is explaining uh, w uh, what happens when you get here as Sakuya. Yeah. Because it's like she already beat everyone on the way here. Mm hmm? And you're the one that's waking her up. So let's see what uh, Patchouli's endgame is. <laughs> You'll see soon. I'm kind of curious now, actually. Curse or Leavitine. Okay then. That's an actual uh, demonic weapon. Huh. I've never heard of that one. Alright. Let's see if, the, if this one is. Uh, nope. Yeah. Where is mine? Didn't I sell it? Or didn't I sell a bunch of other crap? Why do I have so much crap? I don't think you sold anything while you're in the store right now. Oh, yeah, I didn't, did I? Yeah, you're looking for the assassin tagger. God damn it. Ah, eh, whatever. Well, I pick it up on the way there anyway. <laughs> that is true. So now we are on our way to true. Well, no, because I've Kappa's huge factory. <laughs> no, probably not, because I'm still going to be running through everything, anyways. Okay. Is this the same area? It's just, it's the exact same area. Oh, uh, that's boring. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> like I told you, it's Devil May Cry 4 with the same two with the same uh, story one way going in reverse. At least they change the enemies and uh, some of the gimmicks of the levels when you're going backwards. Frame oh, rate. Fuck. So in this episode of Super Sakia Bros, <laughs> kill queens on the loose, and we're retraining areas. Uh, let's see if I can go through this entire area without getting touched. <laughs> Almost. You know what? That sounds very interesting. Are those? Those look. No, there's actual wolves. Okay. They look like <laughs> ghost wolves or something. <laughs> nope. Yep. Nope. Yep. Oh. <laughs> well, I thought you still had the glide, huh? I wish I did. That would make this so much, uh, so much faster. What? You're still covering a good amount of ground here. Sunlight. Well, at least in my opinion, you are. I mean, this is alright, but I think that one's just a bit better. Yeah. Never thought you'd see someone with more mobility than Sakuya, did you? <laughs> didn't, nope. No, I didn't think so. I didn't think the glide would be that good. Either. <laughs> like, I knew it'd be good for, like, clearing projectiles, but I didn't think it'd be good for speedrunning. Fuck. <laughs> this game's always fun a way to surprise you. Uh, surprise. Yeah, it's it surprised me in a good number of occasions by now. In good ways, no less. So well, even mostly though... good. Some questionable. Yeah. What's the problems? Uh, well, well, some of the saturation on some of the areas being way too fucking crazy. Some Shit, damn it. Oops, so, so, some of the level design being really samey. Yeah, that's a bit of a problem. Yeah. Mm. Going down or... No, I'm going up. Let's fix this. I should go to the right. Because I remember that being the area where you got the Assassin's Dagger. Okay. I don't know if it's RNG, but I think it might be worth a look anyway. I don't know if he, which enemy dropped it, though, it's a thing. That is that enemy frogs. Is that it? Kotetsu? No. Aw. I'm, I'm certain that was where he got it. Might have been a similar area in a, in a different part of the stage. Hmm. You know, this game does uh, does have a have a, have a a fancy obsession with drop rate. <laughs> Especially since there's items that we've de dedicated to cranking it up. Though it could be somewhere in there. Maybe. Oh, I remember specifically being in a branch off to the right. So that was my first guess. I really wish you could break, uh, break shit with your uh, special attacks. Yeah, right. That makes collecting items so easy. Still, I'm not. This thing isn't going to give me any trouble. At I really don't expect it to. Regardless of secret boss or not. So, what's the trigger to actually activate the final, secret final boss anyway? 
I have to get through all the post game dungeons and Flandre's dungeon, and then and then there'll be there'll be an exclamation point on the map telling uh, telling you to come back here. I see. Okay. So you see no standard fare. More or less, yeah. How's that thing going handling six hours? Still fucking great. I'm just kind of concerned about how much space this is going to be occupying. <laughs> hey, you bumped this up. I did. Well, it's like 20 megabytes per second. I am totally going to need to defrag my computer later on. <laughs> you aren't going to live long. <sighs> Giant botter, no. So apparently Mother Base was connecting the lake to the mountain. Huh. Which are, I'm pretty sure are on relatively opposite sides of the map. Hmm. Same dialogue? Mostly. I think there are some changes. This time we've spared no expenses, I think she said? No expense in making it perfect. Gotcha. And then, and then our mechanic here said that it was perfect the first time. And then Sane said that it exploded. What the hell are you talking about? <clears throat> You know, just because it makes something perfect to perfection doesn't mean it's going to be unstoppable. <laughs> I've, I've been told that perfect things explode commonly. Indeed. If it, blow, if it blows up, it's only going to get stronger. Vittoria looks like she has a piece of uh, sperm on her hat. <laughs> okay. That was fun. <laughs> <laughs> Not done yet. Okay. Okay. There we go. I'll have to go with camouflage engaged. The Octo camo suit. Yeah. Uh, it's supposed to be a ghost or something. Huh. Itori? Yeah. Oh. Oh, the thing on a hat, right. Yeah. Who? <sighs> so apparently she's like everyone's boss or something. I don't quite get it. I don't know what game uh, that's supposed to be referencing, but mm -hmm. I don't think that was a thing that happened. Maybe she actually is pay paying everyone in booze. <laughs> You'd need a pretty strong alcohol to get uh, to get a demon hammered, so yeah, pr she probably has the good stuff. Apparently owning a wheat farm in this universe will make you like a god. <laughs> All the barley. <laughs> That'll do it. <laughs> Shit. If it gets wine, we'll talk. All the rice wine. <laughs> Definitely. You know All what? the sake. Ah, hey, good, you caught on. I think Conrad's tried talking. I'll ask him if he has any. What am I giving a shot? I just really <laughs> sweet or something. Yeah. Uh, hey, speak of which, hi, Patchouli. Or, is that Romilia? Oh, no. Yeah, that was still a fucking Romilia. daggers. <laughs> okay, well, this one hit me. However. Destruction. God damn! <laughs> this is laughable. What is that? Look at this! God, you can walk forward while doing it too? No, come it's dragging here. me in. Come here, let me do No, dude, look at my energy. Yeah, I'm looking at your energy. This is what death looks like. <laughs> Sokka coming at you with a million blades. <sighs> you are lords of our health? Look huh? at that. Look at all of it. What now? Um, is there another phase of this fight? No! Oh my god! It really does uh, just restart the health bar when it does another cutscene. Oh my... Because I because I did my ultimate on her when the thing ended. Yeah, you were kind of. I'm that glad we caught this. <laughs> this is the magic we're recording, mm -hmm. Brandon. We were basically beta testing the game all over again. <laughs> Do things. <laughs> is this supposed to be a cutscene? Yeah. <sighs> yeah, I was wondering about that. Oh, hi. Wait for it. Wait. Wait for it. Oh. <laughs> Is this going well? Code Scarlet! <laughs> Scarlet the Go-Go. <laughs> oh my god. Tell me- Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Selling the ending of Gurren Lagann. Mark unit two zero, or unit two. Unit zero two, and it's red. Yeah. M <laughs> no, just Mark two, unit two. It's gonna call it Mark three. <laughs> Scarlet Furiosity. Eh. <laughs> Revengeance. A red-colored unit zero two. <laughs> it seems so right. 
So natural. Yep. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> I or came here to laugh at you. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe the color shows it's the Ace Commander's unit. <laughs> <sighs> they stole my blueprints. Resisting all of the Sharazna ball jokes. <laughs> Uh, this, is, this is gorgeous. No, just, let's just keep this. No. <laughs> okay, the, the fighting of this all was weird before, but this, I don't fucking care anymore. This is so ridiculous. Let's fucking do it. <laughs> <laughs> I, want a, <laughs> I want a boxing match with this thing and, and the giant ogre over there. <laughs> Full power. Bring it on! I want to be able to suplex her <laughs> using the robot. <laughs> if you do that, this game will... Oh. <laughs> well, damn. Uh, close enough. <laughs> no su no German suplexing of giant 500-foot-tall demons today. <laughs> Some other time, maybe. I like the attempted panty shot. Yeah, right? <clears throat> Just bloomers down there. 1800s. <laughs> <laughs> this thing is a fucking <laughs> Oni versus Vampire Fight of the Century. Oh my god! Well, it's like I wonder. Parents' population. Oh, it's actually made out. It's made out to be like an actual uh, article thingy. That's actually pretty cool. Yeah. We <laughs> actually. Does Scarlet are... Table Mansion have an ace up their sleeve? <laughs> <laughs> Man, this new Zakuma is looking pretty good. <laughs> Shrine contact for those seeking compensation. <laughs> Full color newspaper. So we could confront confidential best at bucket of bolts. <laughs> I love it. I think this alone almost I think this alone is almost worth the twenty bucks. Yeah. If you could play it out, I think it'd be worth thirty bucks. <laughs> Sadly, so I don't think this game has that kind of budget. Yeah. Indies typically don't. Still, though, that was impressive with the art assets and the weird art change. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> so which of the what? two endings do you prefer? Well, I, d I prefer this one if you could actually fucking pilot the giant mech. <laughs> so wait, is he saying this is all for the sake of a festival? I don't get exactly how it works. I don't remember the entire thing, but the idea is that everyone was all was all really uh, scared about the monster, and so they'll and so they'll have to cancel the festival if the monster thingy is still going. Huh. And so she's like, "Okay, I don't know what this is, what this is about, but I'll become the monster and have you beat me so we can keep the festival going because I want to drink." Hmm. Okay. That's all the excuse these people need. <laughs> right. Well, I think objectively they do anything to get a few booze around here. <laughs> I do like the idea, though. If you actually if you actually look at, look at the background details, it truly is traditional Japanese uh, festival. And somehow, Remilia actually won a goldfish through one of the Scoopy things. She's holding a fish. Yeah, yeah, she is. <laughs> That's cute. I'm not gonna lie. I thought the redhead back there was actually the one holding the bag. It was just a giant fucking fish. <laughs> I know, right? I could barely see the string attached to Remilia's arm. Yeah. That's kind of mean, though. She's eating... Hey, wait. Mailing's gone from the background. I think she appears later. Or no, oh. No, now I remember. Uh, in this version, it says that, Ma uh, that Mailing is going to be coming later with Flandre. Uh, basically keeping her on a leash to make sure she doesn't blow someone up. Yeah, I would do that, too, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> 1800s Japan was a fun place, apparently. <laughs> uh, I want to go there. Apparently it had beatboxing samurai, and apparently it had giant mechs. I want to go there now. Uh, maybe she's enjoying a drink or five in triumph. <laughs> uh, yeah, I can drink to that. Yeah. I would almost say let's do let's do Genso uh, Ronda with some drinks, but I need my vision intact to pl uh, to play a, a shmup. Yeah. <laughs> The Scarlet Furiosity. Oh, they're talking about how it's almost a giant select fest this week, huh? I was like, I'd prefer that.
What was with the robot coming in at the end? That kind of threw me. It could throw you. <sighs> she knew what was up from the beginning and had the monster being constructed during, while the whole thing was going on. Or the robot constructed. <laughs> and to bring it back to Gundam, it really, it really harkens back to the one year war where there were new models of Gundams and whatnot every week. Yeah. They managed to get this done in like two I days. I wanted to build a full custom robot. <laughs> custom Robo? Custom Robo. <laughs> I haven't played that in years. I know it's got some bombshell chick in there with white clothes, but that's it. It got an amiibo. Cool. Apparently a really cute amiibo, too. It looks like a pipe. <laughs> that's cute. It's like a silver Mario pipe with legs and arms. <laughs> it's like we're trying to outdo so we got to celebrate now, too. When you're able to outdrink a fucking ogre. <laughs> Vamp. Well, vampires could probably do that. I know, mean, right? Vampires I mean, in this it. game are hacks because they're supposedly as strong as ogre, but as fast as Tengu. So hacks. <laughs> hacks. I call so hacks. hacks. So, what do you think of this game now? <laughs> <laughs> that really. Well, that explained the robot. <laughs> I was expecting something a little more ridiculous, like actually turned into Pacific Rim, but that was still kind of kind no, of no, no, no. What that, no, what that would have been, that would have been uh, the final, uh, the final battle from Sonic Unleashed, the Gaia Colossus versus Dark Gaia. Oh yeah, it would have been, wouldn't it? <laughs> oh, that would have been some shit. Damn. Because you actually do get, it's so satisfying getting to punch the Dark, uh, dark Eye in the face with the giant stone fist. <laughs> Yeah, I'd do it for anyone, really. <laughs> so, that being said, if I didn't already own this game for us, do you think this is a game that you would buy at 20 bucks? If I had it on hand, maybe. I oh, mean, in hey, general. There's Mailing in the background. I see her now. There she is. I mean, in general, though, like, would you buy this game? Yeah. I'll do why not. I mean, maybe not at 20 bucks, 15, maybe, but. It's, yeah, a, would... it's a digital game, it's not going to go on sale very often. I, I'd still buy it. Fuck it. Just because of the explore. Well, the level design isn't that good. Um, the exploration factor is still pretty fun. And you do get a good amount of abilities to keep you, keep yourself occupied and to playable characters. That and the game by the game by itself is uh, six, to, six to eight hours per story if you decide <laughs> to do everything. About six, seven hours per story. So you're getting a good 14 hour game out of it. Yeah, this turns to be a little bit longer than you expected, huh? <laughs> We're on 6 hours and 30 minutes right now. We're at the end. Yeah. And you're going to end up being able to cut 30 minutes of it out anyway. I'm going to be able to cut maybe an, maybe an hour out, actually. Ugh. With all the... Well, our breaks weren't that long, so I'll say like 40 minutes. So, <laughs> yeah. We got a good amount of content for a decent amount of time. And once again, bearing all the... Again, we're, we're still only halfway done, though. We're still going to go through the entire game again with Remelia. But, again, this is a game that I would still recommend that, ever, that everyone get, either as an action RPG... Or as a fan, or as a fan of Toho, like if you like the universe and like this is something I would recommend. Not necessarily this, but these outside games, a uh, spin-off territory, is what I would recommend to people like my friend James, who's like he likes the uh, he likes uh, the world of one dot, but he's not, but he's not very good with uh, with his reflexes, <laughs> so he wouldn't be able to ha handle a, a shooter like that uh, very well. But he loves uh, stuff like this and uh, the RPGs, like the uh, the Toho Mon games and whatnot. Yeah. So I'd recommend you start there if you don't if you think you uh, don't have the reflexes for it. Yeah. These are great ways of at least of at least getting in. I would call it I would call this a gateway drug. Yeah. Hey, do you want to just um, next time we record something? Do you just want to jump into Romulia Sword, or do you want to give this game a little bit of a break because we just tear through like six hours of uh, Sakura story? I imagine Romulia <laughs> is going to be largely the same. Uh, you know what? Uh, let's do uh, let's do uh, the uh, Genso Rondo and then come back to this game. All right, I'll do why not. All right, all right. Let's just not dive. I mean, I'm I'm game for doing a couple extra games. God damn it! But let's <laughs> not get too crazy with uh, sidetracking across multiple uh, spinoffs. It's only the, dude. There, there are only the two games out right now. Yeah, true. it's not going to be until February until the other two come out. So we're uh, so believe me, we're going to be um, it's not going to be for a while. All right. That fucking move up, God. The energy, the knowledge is an energy drain. Yeah, I thought you could. Well, I was thinking about boss, but I thought you could actually walk forward with it. Activated. It was doing the vacuum. Actually, oh. wait a minute. 
Hold on. You sort of can. <laughs> you're vibrating so much you're actually doing that. No, I'm actually holding the analog stick. This is actually kind of cool. You could, theori you could theoretically walk through an entire floor of a dungeon like this. It's almost completely invincible. <laughs> Well, he's be hit by a projectile, probably, but that's still yeah. pretty fucking ridiculous. Anyway. Alright, we're gonna peace on out. Um, I, we're gonna chill until I have to head to school in, like, an hour. So, yeah, hope you guys have been enjoying this game. Uh, next time, we're gonna be, we're gonna be taking a break from Remilia Story, uh, sidetracked to another game, and then we'll get back to Remilia Story and uh, wrap this shit up. Bye. Bye. Meh. <laughs> Is this gonna take, like, 12 hours to fucking export?